Along with protests, lawmakers and abortion rights supporters are now plotting out new strategies to give women access to abortions. CBS 2's Wendy Gillette joins us in the newsroom with more on the impact of Friday's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. Cindy, as Christina said, at least 13 states are set to ban abortions through so-called trigger laws within 30 days or sooner. Effective immediately, abortion is now illegal in at least seven states, including Oklahoma, where medical staff performing abortions could face prison time. And at least eight of the trigger law states do not have exceptions for rape or incest. Abortion providers in at least nine states have already halted procedures, which means a woman who wants an abortion would have to travel out of state. State to get it. 26 states are likely to ban or restrict abortion, Cindy. Wendy, are there any options for lawmakers at the federal level that could blunt the effects of Friday's rulings? President Biden has already taken a couple of actions directing the Department of Justice to protect women from being punished by their home state if they seek an abortion out of state and directing the Department of Health and Human Services to expand access to FDA approved medications that are used to terminate an early pregnancy, Cindy. What is the reaction been from those who don't support abortion rights to the court's decision? Absolute elation. This was what abortion rights opponents had hoped for ever since the makeup of the Supreme Court shifted. And with laws already in effect in some states, they now have legislation and the court behind them. Cindy. All right. Wendy, thank you so much. Live from the newsroom. Now, some of the nation's largest companies are also reacting this morning. They will cover employee travel expenses for abortions if they're not available where they live. Some of the companies include Nike, Uber, Disney, Meta, Alaska Airlines, and CBS's parent company, Paramount Global. Stay with CBS 2 News for the latest on the U.S. Supreme Court decision and protests expected this weekend. You can also read the entire report on our website, cbsnewyork.com.